Hello and welcome to our video guide on APA formatting in Word from the Los Angeles Southwest College Library. This video demonstrates how to set up and format your paper according to the 7th edition of the APA style using Word 2019 from scratch. Let's get started by opening up Microsoft Word from your computer. Click on blank document. Although APA Style 7th edition gives us flexibility with the font, we recommend Times New Roman size 12. Let's set up the font as the default for the entire document. From the Home tab, look in the Font pane and click on the Options button located in the bottom right corner in this area. From the Font menu, select Times New Roman. From the Size menu, select 12. Click on Set as Default, then click on OK. Now let's do the line spacing. Still in the Home tab, go to the Paragraph pane and click on the More Options button. In the Spacing area, set the Before and After spacing to zero points. Check the box for Don't Add Space Between Paragraphs of the Same Style and under Line Spacing, select Double. Click on Set as Default. Click on OK. Now let's check on the margins. Go to the Layout tab. In the Page Setup pane, click on Margins. Be sure to select Normal and that Normal is set to 1 inch margins all around for top, bottom, left and right. For setting up headers, APA 7th edition only requires a page number on the top right corner of every page for student papers. To set up the page numbering, go to the Insert tab, go to the Header and Footer pane and click on Page Number. Click on top of page, then select plane number three. Click on the close header and footer. Setting up the title page. Start by pressing the enter key on your keyboard about three times. Next, we need to center and bold the title of your essay. From the home tab, in the Paragraph pane, we're going to click on Center Alignment. Next, go to the Font pane, click on B for bold, and type the title of your essay. Press Enter twice. The rest of the content in your title page is not going to be in bold, so turn off the bold feature. Do so by clicking on the B again. Type your first and last name, press enter. Type the affiliation, which is the name of the department or the college, press enter. Type the course name and number, press enter. Type your professor's name, press enter. Type the date of when the assignment is due in month, day, and year format. After you finish the title page, insert a page break to go to the next page. To do so, go to the Insert tab, go to the Pages pane, and click on Page Break. Notice that the cursor is now on page number two. Move up the page. On this first line, you're going to type the title of your essay. The title needs to be in bold and it needs to be centered. Press the Enter key. Now we need to move the cursor to the left margin. From the Home tab, click on Left Align and turn off the B for bold. Now you can get ready to start typing your paper. Press the Tab key on your keyboard to indent the first paragraph, then start typing your paper. Notice that for certain research projects, you may need to use headings and subheadings throughout your paper. When you reach the end of your essay, you may need to insert a page break in order to start the references list on a separate page. 
go to the insert tab click on page break now i'm going to move up the page now we're ready to set up the references page start by going to the home tab go to the paragraph pane click on the more options under indentation go to the special menu and select hanging then go to spacing and make sure that spacing before and after are set to zero and that line spacing is set to double. Don't add space between paragraphs of the same style is checked. Then click OK. Now we need to click on center alignment, click on B for bold and type references. Press enter. Turn off the bold function by clicking on the B and align the cursor to the left by clicking on align left. Now we're ready to start typing our citations. This is an example of a references list properly formatted. All of your sources need to be listed in alphabetical order and follow APA citation rules. Keep in mind, if you use a citation generator to create citations, when you copy and paste into the Word document, some of the formatting may be off, so take some time to review what you just pasted and adjust the formatting. Visit our library's citation page if you need more information about citation or to find examples for different sources. You can do so by going to the college's homepage, which is www.lasc.edu. Scroll down the page and click on the library icon. This takes you to the library's landing page. Scroll down this page and on the left hand navigation menu, click on the library home link. Now you're inside the library's homepage. You can always find our citation page by clicking on the citation link from the top navigation bar. And then click on the APA tab. Reach out to your librarians whenever you need assistance with APA style. Thank you for watching our video.